Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you a 2000 watt PFC circuit that uses the IC1653A. Right here in my hand is the finished board. In this video, we'll look at how this circuit works and where it can be used in real life. You'll usually find PFC circuits inside high power supplies, like computer power units, EVE chargers, industrial machines, or even big audio amplifiers. For DIY builders, using a PFC circuit helps boost efficiency, saves electricity, and makes your projects run more stable when connected directly to the power grid. A PFC circuit rectifies and boosts the AC input into a stable high to C voltage. At the same time, it shapes the input current to follow the mains voltage, bringing the power factor close to 1. This reduces harmonics, saves energy, and protects other devices. At 2000 watt, PFC is crucial for stable and efficient operation. The PFC circuit is divided into several main blocks, the power supply block, the rectifier block, the control block, and the main inductor. Each block has its own function, working together to deliver a stable DC voltage and improve the power factor. In this test, the oscilloscope on the left is showing the MOSFET gate waveform, and the VOM on the right is measuring the output voltage. The AC input voltage of the power source is around 100 volts and after the PFC circuit. The DC output is stable at about 380 V. This confirms that the circuit is working properly, with a stable gate signal and the PFC stage boosting the input into a high DC voltage. Now I will run the circuit with an input of 220 volts AC. After the rectifier bridge, the measured voltage is about 300 volts DC, and after the PFC stage, the voltage is boosted and stabilized at 380 volts DC. As you can see, the circuit runs very stable with an input voltage ranging from 100 volts AC to 230 volts AC. The output voltage always stays at 380 volts DC. I'm sure you'll enjoy this video. Right after the introduction of my sponsor and partner JLCPCB, I'll guide you step by step on how to build this circuit. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you Enig finish and no engineering fees for VIA and PAD. This is the PCB I just received from JLCPCB. Only one week after uploading my Gerber file to their website, the boards have arrived. Now, let's open the package and take a closer look at the PCB inside. I've included the download link for the Gerber file and all related files in the description of this video. They're completely free for you to download and use. As you can see, the board has a clean finish with sharp copper traces and a well-applied anti-oxidation coating. The silk screen text is also very clear, making it easy for component assembly. This is the area for mounting the PFC inductor. Next to it is the soft start power supply section and the rectifier stage. Over here is the MOSFET driver circuit and the output filter capacitors. On the back side of the PCB, we have the 1653A control IC. We'll need to prepare the following components to 25 amperage rectifiers, one fuse, and one NTC resistor. 
Next are 1 microfarad for 100 volts capacitors and 0.1 microfarad for 100 volts capacitors. We'll also need a line filter inductor, diodes, and a relay. In addition, some extra resistors and capacitors are required to complete the circuit. Preparing all these components in advance is very important as it allows us to assemble the circuit faster, more accurately, and with less wasted time. Now I'm going to start assembling the components. We'll begin with the line filter, the soft start circuit, and the bridge rectifier. This is the power supply circuit with a 24 volts output. I'll use it to provide power for the PFC control circuit. You can use any 24 volts power supply as long as it has a current rating of about 1 amp. I'm using 2LM7815 to step down the 24 volt supply to 15 volts, which is used for powering the control circuit. Now I'll power it up and check if the output voltage reaches 15 volts DC. If the voltage is correct, we can move on with the assembly, but if not, we'll need to check the power circuit again. With the 15 volt supply working properly, I'll now continue by adding components such as the MOSFET, diodes, and resistors to complete the PFC control circuit. Basically, we've completed about 80% of the circuit. The control IC is mounted on the back side of the PCB. Now we move on to the inductor part. I'll be using a ferrite core with the size shown here to wind the PFC inductor. After selecting the right core, I will use 1.5 mm enameled copper wire to wind around the two ferrite cores. I will wind 30 turns of wire, achieving an inductance of about 150 microhenries. Thank you for watching my video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.